Welcome back to another Cheapo Multimeter Review. Yes, it is Cheapo time in the nation. Today in the spotlight, new Unity UT33D+. Non-auto ranging, 2,000 counts of goodness. Let's take a look. UT33D Plus ships in your tried and true Unity box. Now they're calling this a palm size multimeter. That's right, palm size. Well, is it palm size? Depends whose palm the meter is in. Let's see. Uh, I think it's a little bit bigger than palm size. Maybe hand size. I don't know. Definitely not palm size. It's not big though, but it, it, it's definitely not small either. Now I would call this rich meters definitely a palm size meter. And you can tell there's quite a difference in a size here. So yeah, that's definitely fitting in my palm. And you know, even that to me is a little big for a palm size. Now this is a palm size meter. Yeah, this little anning I reviewed not so long ago, definitely is palms. Okay, enough about the palms. I feel like a fortune teller already. Unity ships the UT33D Plus with a pretty decent set of leads. For me, these have a definite uh, fluke feel and quality about them, which is rather unusual. Um, I'm liking it though. Definitely not your standard cheapo fare in terms of test leads. Really nice, good gauge wire. They have a cat rating on them of 1000 volt. And what does it say? Unity 4150012.0. So they actually do have a label. Cat 2, 600 volt. Cat 1, 1000 volt. 10 amp rating. So yeah, I, I'm really liking these leads, as I said. Very solid, very firm, and good job, Unity. This is a non auto ranging meter. So for all you auto fanboys, I do apologize, but yeah, this is non auto ranging. You know what? It's not always a bad thing. Believe you me, nothing wrong with a non auto ranging meter. They definitely have their place and I use them pretty well as much as an auto range on my finish. Bench. It's definitely unity quality. I'm liking it. Uh, feels great in the hand, has a nice solid heft to it. The rubber boot fits it perfectly to a T actually. The tilting bail has a very nice sturdy feel to it and you can certainly change those ranges without too much difficulty. Nice click and the um, overall look, fit and finish, top notch. 33D Plus has that typical Unity style 12 o'clock position off. So if we turn it on, yeah, look at that. Nice beep, clackety clack, solid to the ranges. Definitely like the si style and the sound of that selector switch. Has a really good, solid, tactile feel. No worry about getting lost between ranges on the 33D Plus. As you can tell as well, the display has a very nice crisp look to it. Um, not too big, not too small. Really for this size meter, I'd say it's pretty well spot on. Now this also does feature a backlight. And if we just turn the light off here, you can see it's not too shabby. Um, perhaps it could be a tiny bit brighter, but that being said, it definitely does the job. Now the backlight will time out after approximately 45 seconds or so. So it is on a little bit longer than your typical cheapo meter but it is not gonna stay on indefinitely. Too bad. Starting off with the DC accuracy test, I have the precision reference hooked up and we look, we should be looking at 250 millivolts. Look at that bulk spot on 250, it is. Next up, we wanna see 2.50 volts and just what the doctor ordered, spot on. Good job, 33D plus. Taking a look at the UT39C Plus beside the 33D Plus, we can see there is a definite difference. Both are in the cheapo multimeter realm. Now definitely the 39C Plus is a great little non-auto ranging meter. I really like it. Fantastic continuity, does temperature, does a whole lot for not a whole lot of money. 4,000 counts, great little meter. Up against the 33D Plus, you can tell half the size the 33D Plus is. You also have the backlight and you actually have a better range 
for resistance. We have 200 mega ohm as a compared to the 40 mega ohm on the 39C plus. Now we don't have temperature on the 33D plus, however, but we do have the uh, ACDC 600 volts and we have the non-contact voltage detection. So uh, in a nutshell, you know, mm, I gotta say, I do like the form factor, the smaller size and the overall look fit and finish the 33d plus all right it is time to do a dc voltage comparison 39c plus up against the 33d plus sitting at 3.1 volts dc here we go let's take it up to a whopping 8.8 .8 volts 8.9 actually 8.99 no 9 point oh well what's it gonna be 9 point <laughs> okay make up your mind 39 8.99 volts that's it that's what we're going for and 8.99 for the 33D plus. Okay, taking it higher. Let's hit 20.8 volts according to the DC power supply. 20.95 for the 39C plus, and we are over limit. Let's take it up a notch. 20.9 spot on for the 33D plus. Higher yet, 28.8 volts. 28.99. Okay, 29. 29 it is for the 39C plus. 28.9 spot on for the 30 33d plus finally we're gonna max it out 31.7 volts now we have the high voltage indicator on both of the meters 31.88 for the 39c plus 31.8 slightly lower resolution but spot on still for the 33d plus so good job awesome and i must say that little unity is pretty darn accurate Love the fact that they both have that high voltage readout. Definitely a lot more verbose on the 39C plus, but still, nonetheless, it is there on the 33D plus. Good Every stuff. People look at a non-auto ranging meter and they go, I'm so confused. Well, don't be. Resistance is futile, Earthling. Now, when I did do milliamp for the first time, there was opened up the meter and yeah I had to change the dang fuse mm, irks me so I replaced the fuse and I thought yeah I can't just not say I didn't replace it you should be a meter without a good fuse very upset but I know these things happen anyway without further ado we are sitting at 50 milliamps let's take it up a notch now remember we do have a very tiny 200 milliamp maximum threshold for the 33d plus so yeah not too much fun gonna happen anyway let's take it up a notch we are now at 100 milliamps so far so good 130 160 190 200 milliamps going once going twice do i hear 210 210 210 milliamp and we are over limit can i bring it back down yes i can Alrighty. so yeah as you can see not a whole lot of space to play in the milliamp range resistance is next got the default stock leads let's first rel them out let's see if we have any oh not 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 bad at all actually 0.1 now we don't have a rel feature on the meter per se but uh, very little resistance in those 100 mega ohm one percent tolerance high precision resistor is going to have to do let's see how it goes can just get the darn thing here we go that was fast wow 99.9 good stuff and super fast to range hey i'm impressed 0.5 ohm whoops Point 0.7 Point 0.6 and if we take out that 0.1 on the leads yeah we're so far i gotta say i'm impressed with this little cheapo unity multimeter i'm liking it i am really liking it always nice when you get a pleasant surprise coming up next is diode mode well oh, led to be exact a light emitting diode we all know how important these are in our little world of hobby electronics and not so hobby of electronics actually you'd be surprised how often you come across leds that you just need to test Without further ado, let's put it into diode mode and let's cross those fingers and hope we got a five for five. Here we go. Starting off with the green LED. 
It is barely lit up, but it is lit up, and we do have that forward voltage drop off to the yellow, and same thing. Moving down to the red, looking good. So far, three for three. Here's the blue. Oh, come on, and no, nothing on the blue. And the white, no, nope, no can do. Well, that would have been just too darn good, but three out of five, not so bad. There's the output voltage in diode mode for the 33D plus 2.25 volts. High voltage testing is next. Let's see if we can get up to at least 600 volts on the DC scale. And hopefully, UT 33D plus is gonna be able to take it without even breaking a sweat. Alrighty, put the safety goggles on. Here we go. And there we have it. So we have that high voltage indicator as well as an audible warning to let us know that we are in the high voltage zone. Let's try it one more time. Excellent and no problems there. Good stuff, Unity. If you said continuity mode was next, I'd have to say you're psychic. Either that or you just watch a lot of my videos, which is even better. Okay, here we go. Default stock leads. Wow, lashed loud. Wow, pretty darn good, I'm liking it. Probe masters are next, here we go. Wow, beauty. 10 out of 10, loud latched. That spells yummy. 77.1 decibels, one of the loudest continuity decibel ratings thus far. 120 volts AC, no problems here. Next up is NCV or non-contact voltage mode. Here we go. Very nice, very nice. A lot of, um, excellent, a lot of sensitivity going on there. Very good NCV. Here we are taking a closer look on the inside of the Unity. First off, yeah, no shielding. Well, no surprise really. Now here we have two fuses, the milliamp and the high current range. Now I did already change the milliamp fuse. The default was also a ceramic style fuse. Now that being said, really too bad. Actually, it's a shame that the milliamp rating I'm sorry, the milliamp side of things rather does not have one of those new poly style fuses that can reset themselves automatically. No, in this case, you have to tear the meter apart and replace the damn fuse. A real pain in the butt and yeah, it's getting a little old. Over here, we have a diode clamp and a small, very small PTC on the voltage side. Current shunt over here for the high current mode. And if we look at those input jacks, you know what? They look pretty darn good, actually. Pretty nice gauge metal filament, and they are really, really well placed into the PCB. They are the split variety. But once again, those standoffs on the opposite side, opposite side of the chassis will eliminate any sort of uh, tangible. So all in all, pretty nice input jacks. Moving up the board, what do we see? Well, not too much because that IC is cobbed. Here we have our nice loud fantastic speaker because that is one great continuity going on we have a uh, smd capacitor now that ncv mode was really nice and there's a reason why look at the size of that ncv in the pcb they, that is a great great rendition and i gotta say i probably prefer this better than a standalone filament that's sort of protruding or extruding from the pcb a lot cleaner solution and in this case it just works really really well nice and clean and mm, loving it now let's take a look at the pcb manufacturing date march 26 2017 looks like a revision two so not the newest PCB on the block, but that being said, 
I'm not complaining. Closing thoughts of the Unity UT 33D Plus. I like this little guy. Yes, for me, this is definitely one of those pocket rockets. Not the smallest, most diminutive meter in town, but well, you get a lot of bang for buck. This meter, high 200 mega ohm range, gotta love it. And wow, this is one accurate little meter. Continuity wise, blew my socks off. Literally, I'm still trying to find them. Wow, this was some great sounding continuity. Dial three out of five, hey, you know what? I've seen worse. Yeah, haven't we? Also, the NCV non-contact voltage, excellent. Probably one of the better renditions I've seen in a long time. Yeah, we know this is kind of a frivolous sort of a feature, but on a cheapo meter, it's almost expected these days. And in this case, it's actually usable. Functionality-wise, for non-auto-ranging meter, this one does a lot, and I'm quite impressed. My biggest faux pas is why, oh why, do we have to change the darn fuses on the milliamp range? Replace this with one of those self-resetting fuses and this thing would be amazing. The UT33D Plus gets a solid 4 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Appreciate the comments, the feedback. Boy, you guys have some great ideas. And I really, really thank you all for taking the time. And speaking of time, until the next time, keep on testing.